A report today by America's largest food bank network is evidence of a crisis that goes unseen by most of us. Tonight, a devastating new report on hunger in America vividly reminds us that's not always the case. A new study by Feeding America breaks down the dire hunger issue into numbers. This analysis gives us a sort of snapshot of what's going on in families and households across the nation and here in Georgia. Feeding America says one in seven Americans is receiving food assistance and the percentage is even higher for veterans. Today, 20% of those receiving food are veterans. The number is even higher for those currently serving. It's the most comprehensive hunger study ever done in the U.S. Navy veteran and 9-11 first responder Mike DeFeo is on disability and depends on these deliveries from Island Harvest for his family. It's at light for that struggle to be constant. It's always there. Sometimes I just want to crawl over in a corner and just give up. People of all types are falling on hardship. Children, a lot of grandparents, a lot of classmates, a lot of hard worker neighbors, veterans. Uno de cada seis uh, latinos en todos los Estados Unidos están recibiendo servicios por nuestra red de bancos de alimentos. Here that this is not in any way just a, an urban phenomenon anymore. Now we have people in the suburbs who aren't making ends meet. It's not just military families who struggle to put food on the table, but likely someone we work with or go to church with. Hundreds of families rely on food banks to put a meal on the table. Feeding America is very focused on building our produce program because that's going to be our answer to rounding out nutrition. Well, she's now able to get a free daily meal and fresh produce through a charity that works with the Low Country Food Bank. Now that I'm eating healthier, dropping off the weight, I lost 10 pounds in the last month. Mike, one month supply of food for my own harvest. That's You're very, very, much. Much. very welcome. You. All right. We can actually end hunger in this country, and I truly believe it. So, um, you know, let this data speak to all of us and let all of us get involved.